This is Nancy with Nancy's Garden Soap, and tonight I'm making a newborn baby fragranced uh, shower favors. And I have here a mixture of tallow, coconut, canola, and castor oil. And I'm gonna be coloring it a blue. This is a luster blue mica. And I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of it and place it into here. This is um, the fragrance oil, newborn baby mixed with canola oil, or sorry, castor oil. And uh, adding that in here. I just melted the, the coconut and the tallow together. And I have this separate so that I can add it back in here in case this got too hot. I could cool it down with this. So I'm adding that in there. And we'll stick blend. This is a kind of a fast, doesn't need to take too long to make. The cutting's interesting and uh, Hopefully the blue color will work out all right. I don't think the um, newborn baby uh, discolors. So let's mix this real quick. I love the way mica looks in oil. All right, let's add the lye. I've added a little bit of sodium lactate to the oils, to the mixture, to help it harden up a little bit better. Okay, stick by. And I want a deeper blue, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the mica to it. because I don't want green. Scrape the sides real quick. All right, I think that's ready to pour. Stick that over here, actually. Let me get you All right, you'll up. notice that I've lined my new mold with the trash bag, and the reason for that is that the uh, base wood right here warped like this, and I'm waiting for it to warp back the other way if it's going to. And in the meantime, um, between now and whenever I get a new, oh, that's hot, um, and I get a new um, base made for it, we figure out how to fix that. I'm lining it with a trash bag. It's no big deal. Um, and actually, since it's a new, uh, new mold, I can tape the sides of the um, the trash bag to the sides, the outsides, because they don't have oil spilled on them so much. This got really hot. It's kind of surprising. A lot hotter, hotter than I expected. And of course, the lye was kind of hot. And I did warm up the, but there might be something in the newborn baby. Wow, I love that color. Look at that, just really nice, happy. I made a, a pink one recently, and I think that this blue would look really nice together with it if you were doing a baby shower, um, bridal shower, baby, no, baby shower. We want, that would be really cool. And of course it's newborn baby fragrance, so it makes it really nice for a shower. All right, I will see you tomorrow for the cut. Here's the loaf of soap, baby, newborn baby, and uh, it's pretty firm. Seems to be pretty good. So we're gonna cut this into a uh, party favor or shower favor size. Oops. Okay, so I'm cutting it into favor sizes, which means cutting it into two inch. Uh, bars and then turning the bar sideways and cutting it into half inch slices. So it's missing th This string here and this string here So line it up like this About here because I want to cut off a little sliver at this end And then cut it into Two bars like That I gotta put this down. Hang on. <clears throat> Here's one. And I'm gonna turn it sideways like this and then cut it 
like that so I get little bars this size. Let's do the next section. Little sliver at the end and two chunks. What's really nice about this is you get <clears throat> the use of the soap cutter as something that can be used for smaller bars as well as um, guest size plus travel size and party favor type sizes as well as full size. Okay, next section. I try cutting off as little as possible from this end here. Looks pretty good. Smells like baby powder, maybe. Slightly different than just baby powder. Not quite sure what that is, but they say it's newborn baby. I think I'm going to move this over like this and get one bar, one regular size bar out of it. So this will cut this end off. It's kind of weird. I'll get two chunks here and one really big bar plus a little sliver. There's a little sliver for samples. Oops. Right there. Skinny little thing. And then here's a regular full-size bar because someone in the house often asks for full-size bars, namely the husband. <laughs> and then we get two more loaves and an end chunk here. That's kind of... As I put it in the bag, it looks kind of wrinkly. All right, now we're going to cut these bars into um, little little slices like this. Okay, so I have ten of these little mini loaves. So I should be able to get six or seven from each one. Ooh, that's pretty good. I might get eight from this. Look at that. Here they are. But I really don't want to be picking these up right now. These are one inch thick. I want to pick up the little piece here and then grab the whole chunk like this, pre-cut. Open this up again. And then line it up here. Let me see if I can line you up right. I think that angle is pretty good. So you're right in front of me. So we're going to line the um, wire up so it cuts straight down between and makes half inch cuts like so. Isn't that cool? And here they are. I think that looks really awesome. Great favor size. I can't wait to put these on my website. <clears throat> Got another one here. I just got eight out of that. And this here. I think I'll line up like this. Get the end piece off. And then take this whole stack and line it up halfway. I think your angle's pretty good, so you can kind of see where to cut it. that work great and here they are so I'm gonna keep doing this I'll put you on fast forward so you don't get bored watching me cut all of them and I'll bring you back at the end
All right, here's the last set. Right there. Love that sound. Here they are. I think they look great. Color's just about what I wanted. All right, here they are. One full-size bar and uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 73 of the party favor size. Um, these are newborn baby fragrance, so probably they're for baby showers. And then I also got four of the uh, guest size ones. I don't know what you call those. Mini bars. Uh, a pile of scraps here that I'm not sure what to do with other than use for samples. And I think that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please write them down below, or you can email me at nancysgardensoapco at gmail.com. You can see the other things that I have for sale on my website, www.nancysgardensoap.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.